Welcome to the Rough Cuts. It's Saturday, and we are the Wisest Wizards. I'm uh, Mike Waterpipe. And Ryan Pancake Hat. Uh, this is my debut on the Rough Cuts. I didn't make it into the first two. Hey, we're glad to have you. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, I don't know that I'm as um, well organized as Coffee Doug. He does a pretty good job and crosses them out. That's the only reason I have this paper and pen, so I can give that a shot. He was in the service. We're, uh, we're reviewing uh, Carnal Knowledge. Um, which is uh, what I call an Uncle John movie, um, which uh, I think a few of those will show up on here. He always finds some really cool old movies that maybe he saw when he was younger. Uh, this one in particular stars uh, Jack Nicholson um, and uh, Art Garfunkel, yeah. which is kind of strange. Uh, Candace Bergen, uh, Murphy Brown, and uh, Anne Margaret. Um, Whew. Man, Anne Margaret. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> this movie's from uh, 1971. Uh, and, uh, going into it, we, we watched this a few months ago, I guess, and, uh, we were gonna review for this, so, uh, we had to watch it again. I said, oh, we'll just skip through some scenes, and, uh, we'll just, uh, review it after that. But we watched the opening, uh, which is just, uh, dialogue over the credits, and, uh, we were like, well, we gotta watch this whole movie again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, the, uh, first thing I wanted to point out is the dialogue. It's just fantastic in this movie. And, uh, you know, I, I'm sure most people like Jack Nicholson. He's got uh, he's a got, classic voice. Yeah, he's got some pretty witty lines. Uh, he can really banter with the ladies. And in this movie, the ladies banter back pretty well, too. And it just it flows really well. And that's actually something I like, being a guy that actually can't speak clearly or anything. I, I go up to a girl and I'm like, Hey, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to go back and have a drink at the bar now. That's pretty much how I do it. So I like watching it because I can't do it. <laughs> uh, one thing I want to point out is the lighting in this movie. Like uh, A lot of movies want to make sure you can see the characters at all times. Yeah. But uh, whether they were, if they were like walking outside, when they were at a dark spot in the road, you couldn't see them on the camera. Oh, no, it was pitch black. Which I was okay with. It gave a sense of realism to it. Um, I, I don't think our director would like that very much. I mean, if I were to keep this movie up to my face the entire time and talk, <laughs> about it or if i just turn the light out or put the fan on yeah uh, yeah i don't know but uh but i thought it added to the movie uh, a lot of the dialogue was very real it, you know our garfunkel and jack nicholson are, are best friends in the movie and uh they just talk back and forth mainly about sex the entire movie well that's kind of what guys talk about i would say you know yeah I'm sure we've talked about sex stories and stuff like that i mean yeah, I think we just finished one up before this review. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, so uh, they um, had a weird sex scene in the movie that I thought you wanted to talk about a little bit. I might have mentioned it because I was dozing in and out of the movie. No, it's actually quite good. I didn't sleep this time. Um, uh, the weird sex scene is between Jack Nicholson and uh, I'll call him Riffy Brown because I don't know Candace Bergen. Anyway, but... Uh, so you got Murphy Brown, and she's laying on the ground. Her facial expressions are just weird, but then again, you have to think it is her first time. It's Jack Nicholson's first time, too. And I, I kid you not, uh, I can't remember her to when it was my first time, December <coughs> 2000, uh, December 19th, 2000. No, 16th. Got a lot of personal information in this review. I don't give a crap. <laughs> anyway, but, you know... It was just, you know, weird. It was awkwardly shot. It, it was very awkward. Which maybe shot. it was done that because it was their first time. Maybe that was a, a credit to the director. Yeah. Uh, actually, the director? the director was Mike Nichols, who also did The Graduate. Oh. Uh, that's a fun fact. You yeah. like your fun facts. I love them. I'll remember uh, that one. And it was written by Jules Pfeiffer, Pfeffer, uh, which uh, I, I looked him up on uh, IMDb and I have no idea. You think her middle name is Hassan? I think it's a guy, like Jules oh. Verne. Oh. You think his middle name's Hassan? <laughs> Hassan Pfeffer? That's right. He's a big rabbit. <laughs> he films in a rabbit. Uh, or he writes shit in a rabbit. They did a lot of scenes where it would just be on the person's head. Uh, one in particular was uh, on Murphy Brown Eye. And uh, yeah. they just showed her head the entire conversation. And, I didn't like uh, it. It was kind of weird because she wasn't the one talking. So, like, she was laughing at what the other two people off camera were saying. And so looking back just, and forth. Yeah. But then they had some real good ones of uh, Jack Nicholson and Art Garfunkel where they're just talking and... Uh, you know, the cutscenes are just hilarious. It's like, or you know, like if, if Art Garfunkel's giving this long dialogue about something, it'll just cut to Jack Nicholson and he's giving like this deadpan stare like, <laughs> I'm not interested. Like you know? from the end of The Shining, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I wrote this word down for you. Shower. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jack Nicholson in the second half of the movie seems to like be in the shower pretty much the entire half of the movie. Uh, I don't know if uh, 
if the writer really uh, wanted to have a guy in the shower most of the time, but I swear to God. After everything he did, he went and took a shower. Yeah, really. Uh, which also makes me wonder, like, did, do you think that this was heavily scripted, or do you think they let him ad-lib a lot? <laughs> I'd say uh, it was heavily scripted. I mean... Really? Because they, they did a very good job of making it seem real, so, uh, you know, again, credit to them. Yeah. Um, well, they are actors. <laughs> one thing that I pointed out during this movie is uh, they were very good with awkward silences. Yeah. Uh, where you'd say something and the other person has no idea what to say back or they said something so strange. And I realized that that is you in real life. Like, when he goes out and he talks to people, he's the most awkward person to have a conversation with. Which I love. I think it's fantastic watching people's reactions to whatever flows out of your mouth. I'm like, you think they got Chinese bunnies? <laughs> <laughs> and they don't know what to say. <laughs> with the eyes. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. Oh, like okay. Uh, so, anyways, I uh, recommend Carnal Knowledge. Uh, it was a it was a good movie. It, it uh, for being an older film, they uh, they did a good job of uh, having conversation. I guess they were all kind of old. Like people, I think, lose their virginity at a younger age these days. Oh yeah, definitely. Like they were in like college or something. Oh yeah, man, things are different. If you're not having sex in junior high, then you're a loser. <laughs> I guess most people. I don't know. I'm, no, I'm just saying. I mean. Yeah. I was not in junior high, but I'm just saying that's what was how the date again? December sixteenth, two thousand. It okay. was. Uh, I think that was good enough. Yeah, was you know, I got everything on my list here. Well, I wanted to talk about uh, again. Jack Nicholson has some of the best banter lines. Oh, and, I don't uh, know if you want to do lines. I really do want to do this line. <laughs> Uh, in this one, like, the girl's kind of ending it with him. Uh, it's, it's Murphy Brown ending it in the college relationship that they had. And, uh, she goes, oh, I'll always be your friend. And he goes, Jesus, I hope not. <laughs> and, I mean, that is the perfect line. So, guys, if, or, or Remember you know, that one. guys or girls, if the other person's breaking up with you and says, I'll always be your friend, just say, Jesus, I well, hope not. A girl not. could say that, too. Yeah, that you know, good. it's like, you're breaking up and get the fuck out of here, you know? <laughs> And on that note, we're going to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, well, we'll see you later. Uh, it's again Saturday. Uh, rough cuts. Thank you. Thank you. God damn, that movie was good.